what's up everyone so today i'm going to show you how i completely transform my tumbler using hydro dipping so normally you would use spray paint to do hydro dipping today i'll be using nail polish so let's get started first you're going to need something waterproof to cover your work area if you're not working outside these are the colors i'll be using i'll also be using a tape and a scissor and this is my tumbler You'll also need warm water in a container. The container should be large enough to fit your tumbler. Now I'm going to cover this area of the tumbler with tape. As you can see there, it wasn't covered completely, so I'm going to do another layer. All right, we're all done. So now we're going to go ahead and add our colors to the warm water. So I'm not trying to create a particular pattern, I'm going for a messy tie-dye look. Um, it's completely optional, you can attempt to do a pattern of your own. And this is the pattern I'm working with.
We're now going to dip the tumbler. Look how beautiful that is, guys. Because my container is so small, I had to dip the tumbler multiple times. So if you're going to try this, please ensure you get a large enough container for dipping as you'd only have to dip once. Once it's submerged, you just pull it out and you're done. See, I still didn't get that area, so I'm going to attempt to do so, but just look how beautiful that is. Also guys, please ensure you use gloves or you'll have to get some acetone or nail polish remover to clean up your hand afterwards. So it's finally done guys and this is what it's looking like. I'm going to leave it to dry for about 4 to 6 hours. Alright, so now that it's completely dried, I realized I didn't like it, so I went ahead and did a second coat. And this is what it's looking like after the second coat. I must say, I'm completely satisfied. Oh my gosh, guys, look how beautiful that is. So now I'm just removing the tape. And it's looking just as I wanted it, nice and clean. As you notice there, I did get some paint inside of it, but not to worry. I'm going to get that cleaned out. But look at this beauty. Oh my gosh. I'm in love, guys. So this is what I'll be using to clean the inside of the cup along with a piece of paper towel. It takes very little effort to get it cleaned out guys. Which reminds me, if you do try this and you're not happy with the way your tumbler turned out, you can definitely use the acetone or nail polish remover to remove it and start all over. There we go guys, nice and clean, ready to use. So guys, if you do enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to leave a comment. I'll see you in the next video.